Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-2365. Item Number, SCP-2365 Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures, reports of SCP-2365 are to be investigated and data analyzed for evidence of connections or common factors between victims. Survivors of SCP-2365 and witnesses are to be interviewed, tested and amnesticized. Foundation front companies are to conduct sleep studies in an attempt to observe and document SCP-2365. While it is not known whether SCP-2365 is mimetic in nature, access to information relating to SCP-2365 is to be restricted. Description, SCP-2365 is a phenomenon affecting certain individuals during REM sleep. Initial stages of SCP-2365 are characterized by the materialization of small flakes of rust in the air above the sleeper, and a reduction in local temperature. Recordings during this stage have detected the noise of metal hinges, the source of which has not been determined. If the sleeper is woken during this stage, no further effects are observed. If SCP-2365 is permitted to progress, the initial phenomena will cease and the second stage will commence. Heavy steel springs will materialize in the space adjacent to the sleeper's head. Over the course of 10-15 minutes, this will be followed by the slow manifestation of additional metal attachments, forming a large bear trap. The bear trap will remain suspended over the sleeper's head for up to 10 minutes before slowly dematerializing. If the sleeper returns to consciousness during this period, or contact is made with a trap, by the sleeper or others, the springs will be triggered, typically leading to significant trauma to the head and neck. The Foundation's understanding of SCP-2365 is based largely on forensics and witness reports. Observation and testing has been restricted to bear traps which have been triggered and retain material substance, and to a limited number of SCP-2365 survivors. No pattern has been determined between the identities of victims of SCP-2365, and the number of unobserved cases is difficult to determine. Thank you for tuning in, we hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.